Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this lecture, we will solve problem based on beam reactions. So this is the given question. We have to find the support reactions for this. So these two are the supports and these, this is a beam which is placed on this support. So whatever the reaction this supports will be giving back to the beam, we have to find that. So before we move on to the solving, we will first draw the free body diagram. So I will draw the beam again. Then here we have a fixed support. So for this kind of support, what do we have? We have two reactions. Those are the vertical and horizontal reactions. So for a, if I have a vertical reaction, let me name it as VA and for horizontal reaction, let me name it as HA. So these two reactions. Now at this end, I have a roller support and the roller support will only have a vertical reaction. We can name it as VB or you can name it as RB because it only has one reaction force. Now this loading is a UDL loading. So I'll do the calculation, do calculations here, and we'll convert it into a point load. So if I have to convert a UDL into a point load, so point load. So how do we get a point load of from UDL? So whatever per kilonewton uh, per meter force you have been given, multiply that with the distance. So it is 20 into 6. That is 120 kilonewton would be the point load. So, but where that point load will be acting? So, the point of application, point of application would be distance divided by 2. So, whatever may be the distance given for the whole UDL section that would be divided by 2. That is 3 here, 6 by 2 because the UDL is over a span of 6 meters, so that divided by 2 will get the application of our point load that is 120 kilonewton. So from here, maybe at a distance of this part, I will get my point load to be 120 kilonewton at a distance of 3 meters. Now at and at the end of 6 meters, I have one force already that is 30 kilonewton and a couple of 40, 40 kilonewton meters. So, from here, again after 6 or 3 meters from this point, I have a force already which is given as 30 kilonewton and at the same point, I have a couple that is 40 kilonewton meter. Let this point be C. Now from point C over a span of 4 meters I have a loading which is UVL uniformly varying load. So for calculation of point load, point load of UVL what do we do? So this is my UVL so it is half length, so our length is 4 into the force whatever it is given per kilonewton meter. So it is half 4 into 45. So we get this to be 90. So our point load would be 90 kilonewton and our point of application for UVL is from the apex. So this is the triangle, this is like a triangle. So this is my apex and this is my base. So from the apex, if you have to calculate the application of point load, it is 2 by 3 into the length. So here the length is 4, so I will write this as 4. So you would get this to be 2.67 meters. And if I have to find point of application from the base, then it would be 1 by 3 of L. So whichever is comfortable for you to calculate, you can consider that either 2 by 3 from the apex or 1 by 3 from the base. So from here till the apex, I have the distance to be 2.67. So let's say this is complete 4, so more than half. 
I will have my application point that is 2.67 meters which is 90 kilo Newton and rest the distance is there. So, from one point if I have to write all the distances this is 3, this is 6, from here this distance would be 6 plus 2.67 that is 8.67 meters and the total distance is 10. Okay. So, now let us move on to the solving part here. Hmm. So, first of all this is under equilibrium. So, we have basically three equations of our equilibrium conditions from the equilibrium condition that is f of x is equal to 0, f of y is equal to 0 and the moment is equal to 0. So, here we can apply our moments also as the supports here given can carry some moment. So, if I have to now this diagram will consider that is the free body diagram. So, I have the first equation would be f of x is equal to 0. So, if I take f of x is equal to 0, I have only h a force. So, only h a force I have and there is no force that is opposing this force. So, this would become 0 because f of x is equal to 0. Now, for f of y, I have this force, this force. So, these two forces for f of y are unknown. And if I take my moment about any point, so I will take always consider the moment about such a point where you can cancel out at least one unknown. Because if I take my moment here, if I consider the moment here, then this force will be cancelled out and this force also will be cancelled out because of which we can get value of Rb directly. So, we will go with the moment about A first. You can also find moment about B anything is ok. So, moment about, so conditions of, by conditions of equilibrium, if I can take moment about point A equals 0. So, these two forces are applicable on that point itself. So, the moment of, of these two forces would be 0. So, for moment about A, let me consider this force first. So, if I consider this force that is 120 kilo Newton acting downwards at a distance of 3 from this point. So, it is force into perpendicular distance for this force 3 meters is the perpendicular distance. And according to sign convention, I have this to be in the uh, clockwise direction. So, I have this force to be 120, this is 3 meters. So, I will write that this is 120 into 3 and this is a clockwise direction. So, it is minus. Now, here I have second force that is 30 which is also in the clockwise direction at a distance of 6 meters from point A that is minus 30 into 6. Next, I have this force which is already in the clockwise part that is the moment. So, we do not need to give any distance here because it is already a couple. So, I will write this as minus 40 and then I have 90 which is also in the clockwise direction. So, this is 2.67 meters. So, this is 2.67 meters from here, from this point it is 8.67. So, it is minus 90 into 8.67 equals 0. So, if I calculate, if I calculate the moment of about point A here, so my moment about point A would become, uh, sorry, I also have to consider this force. So, I have Rb that is Rb which is in the anticlockwise direction would become positive. So, Rb into the total distance is 10 into 10 equals 0. Now, if I calculate this, I would get my unknown Rb. So, if you calculate, your Rb would be 136.03 kilo Newton. 
Now, I have my value of Rb here. Now, we need to find Va and Ha. So, my second equation I will take is f of x is equal to 0. Only Ha we have in the positive direction. So, that would become 0. Now, our last equation is f of y is equal to 0. So, if I have to calculate f of y, I will take all the forces in the y direction. So, my Va is going upward, so that is positive. 120 in the downward direction, that is neg negative. Then 30 in the downward direction, that is negative. 90 in the downward direction, that is negative. And Rb will be positive, which is in the upward direction equals to 0. From previous equation, we got Rb as 136.03. So, my Va is minus 120 minus 30 minus 90. Now, this Rb is positive. So, in the upward direction, minus 90 plus 136.03 equals 0. So, if you calculate this, you get the value of Va to be 136.03. 97 kilo Newton, which is positive in the upward direction. So, this is how you calculate the support reaction in a given beam reaction problems, which is in a, in a given beam, which is supported by two supports or two more than two supports. So, hope you understood. Thank you.